Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here, and this is episode 12 in my first time playing through the British campaign on Ultimate Admiral Age of Sails. If you're new to the channel or new to this series and you didn't see the first 11 episodes, you can click on the link in the description below. It'll take you all the way back to the beginning. Hopefully, now that we're at episode 12, you're starting to notice that I'm at least somewhat competent as a naval officer. I am far from skilled, but I'm getting there. Uh, and I'm excited to get through this campaign and apply my knowledge to a more difficult level uh, of gameplay. But for the meantime, we've got another uh, career point available to us. And I think we're going to go into luck on these side missions. Add a little bit there. This next uh, mission that we're going to take on is actually a land mission, which means that I can assign some of my ships uh, to a couple of these side missions in the meantime. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at all of our ships and where things stand. Um, I think they're pretty well in good shape to be able to take on these side missions as is. I just want to make sure that they have the crew that they need, and it appears they do. Uh, for this particular mission, we're going with our land vessels. So we, what we want to do now is we want to look at the troops that we have and where we can build those numbers back up to strength, as well as look and see where there might be opportunities to upgrade the weapons. And there certainly are some places that we can do that. For example, right here, uh, 345 of these available. There's 293 available on those. That would certainly be a huge up upgrade over the Sea Service 38 musket and bayonet that I'm currently using. Uh, what I don't want to do is upgrade in such a way that I don't most effectively use these weapons. So I actually want to start with the biggest units first and see what upgrades. They've already got the land pattern 78s, so I think they're probably where I want them to be. I'm going to go to 225 for them until I upgrade these others. These guys have those Sea Service 38s. So we're going to go ahead with them first and go up to the land pattern 78s. And then we're going to go up to two. Well, let's say 200 for now because I want to see. Okay, here's our 8-inch land service mortars. Let's actually build that up a little bit. We're going to actually bring that unit up to 200 if we can. And then these other, uh, these are our Grenadiers, I believe. Um, they're at 225, they're at 200. Now they both have that same kind of weaponry. I don't know if we can go up to 225 on the Hastings or not. Looks like we can. All right. We've also got the Darby, which has nothing on it at the moment. Um, so let's go down first and look at the Neptune. This guy was wounded, so we've got to put John Chamberlain in there. He's got they they've got the 78s already, and it looks like we've got enough of those left to build this unit up at least to 150. And then we can go 150 on this one, and that'll just about use all of those. So it looks like we made pretty effective use of that. Oh wow, the Whitby. Oh my goodness, that's that ship I just captured or I just rescued, I should say. They can carry up to a 1,000. All right, that's an unrated merchantman. But heck yeah, this is fantastic. Let's get some more artillery, first of all. Another group of these 8-inch uh, land service mortars. That would be ideal. So we just got to watch our money situation, but we can build up quite a little force here with this. I'm going to put the ensign in charge of that. We'll use the first lieutenant for some land troops. In fact, before I do that, I should build up. These guys still have those 38s. Let's get to the 78s for them. There's 150 left, so I'm going to leave these guys at 143 for the time being. We can build up quite a land force here. You know, it wouldn't be bad to maybe have some skirmishers. I haven't really gotten any of these yet, but now that we're getting a little more freedom with the amount of soldiers I can take into things, we're going to go ahead and max out a skirmisher unit trade musket. I don't know about that. Let's go with these land pattern 78s because they don't have they don't have um, bayonets, but since these are skirmishers, I'm not going to worry about that too much. 
actually got some Spanish M1717s. Yeah, I don't think we want those. Um, some more land pattern 78 muskets without. Okay, so there's that. Let's get a commander for that unit. We're starting to run out of land commanders here. All right, so I'll build up these last three now. So I can go with one more unit of Grenadiers using land pattern 78 with the sword bayonet. Uh, and then that's going to use up what I have left of those. But we've got uh, the ability to do two more units. So and it might, might not be a bad idea to do some more mortars. Uh, we're going to be overloaded there. Looks like we're just about maxed out on weight already. So that's going to be what we go with. But that's going to be a nice force to go in for this mission. I think that'll do pretty well. We can also put some some guns on the Whitby. And that actually is probably where the weight issue is coming in. So let's go ahead and see what we can do to increase capacity or reduce weight somehow. There we go. Cannon weight on board. That'll, that'll relieve that issue. Uh, so this one can actually fight back if needs be, but we're mostly using it as a troop ship. All right, I think we're pretty well there. I'm going to go ahead and repair War Spite. Check on uh, Rayo where they're at, because we can probably use War Spite for one of these side missions as well. So let's go in first to the side missions and see who we can assign there. We can actually assign some big ones to these. Murderous Henry and Surprise. I'll oh, see again, it's not going to let me... Uh, we're still having that issue. I think that's that same mission, Gray Ships, that we're having that problem with. So Murderous Henry, just on its own, is going to be 67% chance of success. So we'll send that one in. I just don't think Gray Ships is an available mission. Oh, that's why. It might be the size. So we can only go 250, but... Um, what can we send? Has it got to be land missions? Or land? Is that the issue, maybe? Let's send surprise. Rayo. I think we have to send at least one with land troops. I think that's the issue. Yeah, the third one's got to be land. That's our problem. So see, if I send one of these such as the Neptune. No, nah, same problem. Okay, forget that. Let's go on to our main mission. That's up here. All right, we can go up to 400 here. So let's start with our biggest and work our way down. That's Hastings. Whippy's 160, so that, that might limit me. No, these ones are only 40, so we're good. Uh, we just don't have quite enough room for all of them. So which one will we go with? We'll go with the one that has the two skirmishers on it, and then we'll go with this one here. So we can't quite get them all. We could probably have loaded now because it was full, so that won't even work either. All right, here we go. Let's see what this one has in st uh, store for us. Captain, you've arrived on time, but there's no time for Dealey. I'm assuming that meant delay. Land your troops and advance to Fisher's house. Oh yeah, it looks like they're surrounded. The rebels have started another attack and our men can barely hold their ground. Make haste, Captain, and get our men out of that hell. Alright, let's do that. Let's get up here as close as we can. Unload our folks. and rush to their aid. I guess that might be as close as we're going to get under the circumstances. Hastings, unload, unload, unload. Whitby, unload, unload. Maybe get out of his way there, Whitby. 
and slow down. There we go. I'm gonna slow down until I get my other troops off here. Still got two more ships to unload. But we're gonna go ahead and start sending the ones that are already off up there to help out. And he notices what I'm doing, so he's going to come to meet me. Get our skirmishers off. Okay, not exactly the landing at Normandy here. We've got a nice bunch of mortars that we're going to get into position and help out. Looks like they're running low on ammo too. He's got a unit going up into these trees on this hill. So I'm going to be careful of that. Rebels are attacking us. Well, of course they are. All right, last two. Let's get them to the beach. Oh, careful, careful, careful here. Wow. Attacking us is an understatement. Let's run up there. We gotta protect these guns now. I got them a little too far up in advance. Okay, the sooner we push through these guys, the sooner we can go help out the town. So somebody commented after one of the previous video videos about how the the numbers, the individual numbers for the units as far as the kills they get on the end screen is way off. And you're absolutely right. Um, there's obviously some kind of some kind of a glitch they're still working out. The the numbers on the main screen where it gives you the overall totals, I think are correct. But when it gets to the end and tells you things like the number of kills each unit had, like see here, Joshua Nunn does not have 428 kills already. This battle just started. Uh, same thing with these guys, they have 167. That's obviously not correct. So I'm not entirely sure why it's doing that, but I'm sure at some point they'll get that corrected. Let's get our skirmishers up here, try and deal with that unit of uh, artillery, and then we'll get the rest of our troops going. So I like the skirmishers. They've got the green like the Queen's Rangers sort of thing, so that's really cool. How they've got the different colored uniforms for the different units. Ooh, he just blew a big hole in me there. Let's deal with these guys. There we go. 
Got two units of artillery firing now. Got some more skirmishers over on this side. All right, he's he's pushing back. So let's do the same. Let's get our skirmishers to continue forward. Let's see if we can overrun those guns. Now let's come to the rescue of the town. We got a small force up here we've got to deal with. Where'd my other skirmishers go? Oh, this is them here. So we'll get them on my flanks. Let's move the artillery together. Uh, the only thing with these skirmishers is they fire and they run. Something just fell off of one of the shelves here in the office. That was very random. Alright, I think we have all of our... Looks like one of our ships is just... Oh, Whitby. I never gave Whitby a stop order. Stop! Skirmishers out on this side just to guard the flank. Everybody else start moving in. And we'll very quickly turn the tide on this thing. Captain, you've managed to break, 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 like stop, I guess, the siege, but many, uh, more rebels are on the way. Of course they are. Retreat to the coast and embark your men back to the ships. Their guns can provide good su fire support if the rebels attack your men while embarking. Except I don't have any of those kind of ships, really. We kind of got to deal with these guys first, no? really don't want my skirmishers dealing in melee combat. We gotta, we gotta finish these guys off first before I start talking about falling back. Let's go ahead and pull the guns back first though. Kinda would rather stand and hold my ground and see what I can do here. It's over. I have the high ground. All oh, these are skirmishers. I'm not going to send them charging in. Got to get these guys out of here. But we got to rescue them first. I'm not quite in close enough to do that. You don't want to charge. What were you thinking? Double quick. Ready. Fire. All right, there you go. Pull these guys out now. Now I can pull these ones out.
More rebels are here. Of course they are. Oh, hello. Get out of there, Rose. Skirmishers, yeah, they retreated. Okay. All right, we're going to play the fallback game. Even though I feel like I could probably hold. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch more coming that way, too. All right, I got you. Get the guns out of here first. Everybody run! Actually, Rally, you fire a couple volleys first and then run. Guess we should get the, the Whitby back over here. All right, guns out first. This would be interesting. I've never exactly tried this before. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Yeah, it looks like we are. Now we just got to make sure we load them on the right places to where they all fit. Can we finish it now? I, I'm a little nervous about finishing it now, but I, I guess we've done what we need to do, no? No, I can't finish it now. Okay, now what's happened? Oh, of course there are ships coming. And I don't have any armed ships to deal with them. I should have brought at least one of my bigger vessels to, to deal with this. Yeah. Protect Blackpool and destroy the rebel fleet. All right. Why are these guys going back to fight now? No, 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 no.
Run away! Now one of my officers was killed. Okay, everybody's offshore now. Now let's get these ships out of here. Need to get a few more on George the Third. Let's see what's coming to face us. All right, nothing major. USS Freedom, the Osprey, the Falcon, the November. Can we just board these guys? That's probably going to be the way to do this. There we go, we're getting some men on George III now. Everybody get turned. Let's turn this way and try to get some wind and let's turn around so we can see what we're facing. We'll speed things along. And let's start boarding and taking these guys over. None of them have the manpower to be able to withstand that. Blackpool, you're going to board the Falcon. Whitby. Can we just ram them? That'd be fun. We do have guns. Piece of cake. Alright, we gotta turn into the wind with these guys. Actually, no, you know what? We don't. Let's just turn this way. Forget that boarding stuff. Let's just shoot these guys up. Start with the freedom. Oh, Blackpool can't fire on anybody. Or at least I can't issue any orders for such. Oh, hello. fast. Is Whitby still flying a French flag? It is. I 
All right, get up there, Darby. Come on. Of course you're not going to let me board you. Light him up. Can't get Hastings off the. Are uh, they stuck? I think they're stuck. Got them a little too co close to the shore. Let's get up there with the Darby and try to deal with the Falcon. Here we go. Pull it in. Georgia third is going to have to go deal with November. We've got Osprey. Boarding. Perfect. Osprey's done. Freedom's next. Let's go this way, get a little more wind favorable. We haven't eliminated the fleet yet, so we don't want to finish this. Unless that's secondary. Wish there was a way you can save in the middle of a mission so that I could just hit that and see if it works. There we go. All must be fulfilled, yeah. We can get a draw for saving Blackpool? No. We need to eliminate the enemy fleet as well.
Okay. Sails up. Got November. Let's get over there and get freedom. Falcon is being an elusive creature. November's toast. Problem with the water here. Now let's send George the Third over to help with Falcon. There we go. Pull him in. Yeah, buddy. Which is good because Darby was close to being in bad shape there. Don't lose them. Oh, you lost them. Ugh. Hastings is actually the one that took freedom out. Yikes. Okay, Darby's probably not the one to do this. Let's go after this last guy. Let's get Blackpool over there. King George III over there. Take out this Falcon. All right, Whitby's got him right here at the shoreline. And we barely managed to get Darby out of there without being sunk or surrendered. Super close. This Falcon must be heavily gunned, man. We're not going to worry about the shallow water too much because once once we board them, this mission's over. Come on. This guy's a little tough nut to crack, man. There we go. Gotcha. Now we can finish the mission. Correct? There we go. <laughs> okay. Wish I'd had a regular one of my ships, but that works. Okay, so uh, there you can see these are the numbers that I believe are probably correct. Uh, those all need kind of some tweaking because if you look at the units, obviously um, some of these are probably not right. But uh, come out of there having won the mission having kept all of my ships alive, relatively few land casualties. So I'm pretty happy with all of that. It was such a nightmare kind of running for my life and getting to all of those lifeboats in time. But uh, there's that silver smoke. Uh, we can send War Spite to go deal with that mission. And it'll be in progress there. Uh, this Gray Ships one just continues to be a headache for me. Looks like we've got another sea mission. Objects in motion, 110 thousand money for winning this one a large french squadron is sailing uh, us captain if they catch us anchored we're dead if we retreat consider uh, uh, our troops in savannah town doomed so we have to fight and hope we damage them enough to keep away from savannah river all right so we're gonna have two squadrons uh we're gonna be taking some big ships into this one it's gonna be a big fleet action um doesn't look like there's anything relatively new that we can get that we don't already have. So you have to think there's probably still a lot to go in this campaign because we haven't even gotten to some of the bigger ships yet. But here are our latest available tech, uh, techs available. Uh, Marines, yes, let's do that. Uh, EIC pattern brass short guns, yep. We had to spend seven uh, prestige points for that as well. Access to supply wagons. I thought I already had those, but maybe those are ones that don't require a separate unit. I don't know. 
So there you have it. We're going to wrap it up right there. Let me know your thoughts. We'll be back tomorrow with the next episode with this big sea battle. I'm excited to see what happens. Thanks for watching.